Hey guys, it's Marlo back again with another unboxing and review and today I have the Star Wars 7 inch scale I believe from the Mandalorian the child or baby Yoda figure here. Now this is supposed to be an electronic figure again it's supposed to be about a 7 inch scale figure and uh, also a plush so I know there's another plush that has been released previously a little bit bigger than this. Never bothered with that one. It was kind of cool but a little bit I don't know, just not to my liking, but this one I like a lot better. I like the scale. I like the sculpt on this one a lot better. I think it looks slightly more realistic than that other larger uh, plush that I'm talking about. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, anyways, here he is in package, just to give you guys a look. Comes with a little frog there and a bowl, so that's kind of cool. And it looks like you're just supposed to squeeze the plush. There's a little tag there that says it as well. So let's give it a shot. Wow. So it just has a few Baby Yoda sounds. <laughs> wow. Very cool. So just a lot of baby sounds there. Give you guys a view of the box. Here is the back of the box there. Again, you can see the figure with the bowl and frog. If you want to read any of the stuff there, feel free to pause the video because I'm just going to try to move along. And it says here there are 10 sounds. So I guess there are 10 sounds in all. And I wonder if he interacts with the accessories somehow. So we'll give that a shot later and see if that is something that uh, comes along with the figure as well. So. Again, I read that it's supposed to be 7 inch scale. Let's see how he sizes up with my ruler. So in package, he's a little bit over 7 inches, but that is in package, as you can see. So probably out of package, he is around a 7 inch scale, so we'll take a look at that in a second. So let me go ahead and take out the child Baby Yoda out of the package and get a closer look at the figure in hand. And here we have the child or baby Yoda out of the package and he looks pretty cool I must say. Wow. And I wonder if the scale is right to uh, you know almost life size. Not sure how tall baby Yoda should be if he were to be one to one scale or life size but uh, this looks pretty close. If you could see my hand there I would imagine he would be about that big. Maybe slightly bigger but uh, he scales pretty nicely in my opinion. As far as the accessories, here is the frog creature with the one eye. It looks like something out of the Simpsons cartoon almost. But yeah, some kind of alien frog. And yeah, there's no articulation. Just a solid plastic piece. And as far as I can tell, there's no kind of electronic interaction that goes on between the accessories. Here is the bowl. It appears to be just a solid piece of uh, soft plastic, kind of almost rubber-like. And I wonder about those two holes at the bottom. That's kind of curious. Why did they do that? So kind of weird. Because, uh, I mean, if the bowl was designed that way, you would think the uh, the contents or the liquids would just drain through. So I don't think they're supposed to be there. Just kind of weird that they did that. I don't know. I like to customize my stuff. I might go ahead and putty those up, close them, and maybe put something in here to make it look a little bit more realistic and add some more texture to the wood there. As you can see, there is some wood grain to the bowl. If I can get it to focus, yeah. You can see a little bit of texturing going on there. And the frog, once again, don't know if I had it focused, but hopefully you get the idea with the frog. I guess he can also hold the frog in hand. His hand looks to be posed in a position for holding, maybe even the bowl. So maybe I'll try that out in a bit, but let's look at the figure. Again, the details up close for you guys who are curious. Nicely painted, details are nice, sculpt is also cool. You could see some, uh, what do you call it, some, some hair-like uh, details there on top of the head that were painted on. Again, if you like to customize, I might even try to put some uh, hair-like uh, material on the top if I can pull that off somehow. 
maybe some cotton and you know like lightly dab it on top of his head the bottom of the figure they're just some plastic pieces I guess the whole arm is plastic goes up to the shoulders as far as I can tell of course the head is and the feet yeah just kind of goes up to there hopefully you can see that where my finger is the rest is just plush and again there is some plastic in the center area because as you can see there's a compartment in the back for the electronics I imagine if you wanted to switch out the batteries let's see how do I do this is it a zipper let me put the camera down I need two hands for this is it velcro yeah velcro as you can see there we go so there is an access portion to the figure okay it's mostly plush it's kind of just a little plastic voice box inside there that's of course push activated so I would imagine you know you would have to access a part of that to switch out the batteries so again you can hear some of these sounds as I'm squeezing the plush <laughs> pretty cool and if you're wondering about the batteries it does take three 1.5 volt batteries as you can see there so quite small Let me see if I can get them to hold the frog. Oh, <laughs> got them to kind of snore there. So, yeah, just a whole bunch of baby sounds. So you can hold the frog. You can see he has a frog in hand there. And let's see, can he hold the bowl? That might be a little bit trickier to pull off, actually. Oh, yeah, he kind of can hold the bowl. There you go. So he does have the bowl in hand. At least the one hand there. And let me get him propped up. A little bit hard to balance this guy since he is plushy. There we go. Oops. Ah, let me prop him against the back here for now. And get the measuring stick once again to give you guys a good measurement. Out of package, yeah, he is more or less about a 7-inch scale figure. So, uh, what do you guys think? Is he in scale to a one-to-one -one size Baby Yoda? Uh, let me know. I don't know what the stats are. Maybe comment below what he should be as far as height if he were to, to be one-to-one -one scale. And uh, again, for you customizers, something kind of cool. I might weather his outfit a little bit. Again, like I said, put some texture on the bowl. Maybe customize some uh, fuzz on top of his head there. But overall, a really cool little figure. I picked this up at my local comic shop, Metropolis Comics in Bellflower, California. So shout out to them for having this guy in stock. Uh, came out to about $25 for me. I have a uh, membership discount there. So without the discount, he's probably closer to $30. Not sure if that's uh, regular retail if you were to find him in shops but i would imagine somewhere between 25 and 30 dollars in stores so not too bad considering the details on this guy and he is electronic <laughs> and i like that he is yeah about seven inches tall so he doesn't take up too much space in the collection as well very cool so that's more or less it guys i hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and review if you did please give the video a thumbs up share the video like the video and if you haven't already please do subscribe take care <laughs> as always keep on collecting and i will see you all next time bye bye hmm might even paint the nails there they could use a little bit more extra details as well as with the toenails there oops so that's it as far as underneath very cool.